Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm in the car. I'm headed into the salon. I have a few clients today. I'm really excited. Fighting this morning traffic in St. Louis is no joke. These people are crazy. <clears throat> Hopefully, I missed all the traffic and I'll get downtown pretty quick. I work at this really awesome salon. It's the only salon I ever worked in since I graduated from cosmetology school. And whenever I come back in town, I just go and rent a booth for the week. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm headed. And um, I don't know if anybody else is working today. It's Tuesday. Most people don't really start coming in until Wednesday. So I work Monday through Friday. And that way I was able to stay home with my husband on weekends because he didn't work weekends and I just have kind of kept that going um, and also it gives me time to spend with family and travel on the weekends and not just work 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 so last night was a lot of fun I was trying to get my square set up for some reason it was giving me like the biggest headache it was like I couldn't remember what email I had it set up under I couldn't remember my password so like eventually you get locked out of the system needless to say we had to run to the ATM and that is so embarrassing and horrible on my behalf I you know like to think that I'm a professional but um yeah so I'm grateful that my clients love me and um, it all worked out so today I'm all set up I'm ready to go I'm ready to do some business and it should be a great day I am proclaiming it I am saying it and it will be Alright guys, my day at the salon is over. I have one client coming over today. She's um, a girlfriend of mine who we went to high school together. Her daughter is getting her hair braided for summer camp. And Garrison's been here kicking it with his Nana all day. I mean, they've been doing all kinds of fun stuff. Now he's gonna hang out with me while I eat. I am about to have some sweet peas, macaroni and cheese, oh, I'm sorry, with quinoa noodles and free range chicken that my mother-in-law made for me. I thought that looked delicious. When I tell you I be eating good, y'all be eating good. Um, so I'm gonna try to get this down before she gets here and I start braiding her hair. My other client went well as well. And um, just getting all this love. It feels so good to be home. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Hey guys, I am back. I finished my little girl's hair. It turned out adorable. I have some pictures I might put in there. But I just got back from my walk and since it was so late, I just went over to Schnucks, which is a neighborhood grocery store and I walked the parking lot. Now I did take some money and I have been craving some Oreos. So I went inside and I saw some Organic red grapes and organic cherries certified like the real deal. No pesticides. I can't eat a lot of fruits because pesticides tear me up So I picked up the grapes in the cherries and I proceed to the Oreo aisle now the first time I went to the grocery store I was here. I put the Oreos back today. I bought the Oreos Now I haven't had any I bought them because he's never had them He's a fellow Oreo eater. What do you think of, of them? I'm, a, I'm an Oreo person yeah, so, I never had the white Oreos, but they, the Oreos. Yeah, they're good, time, aren't they? Those are my favorite. They're cool. Whew. So, I get to the checkout, and he starts ringing out my stuff. Now, I grabbed some money out of my purse and never looked at what I grabbed. I think I had $9. The grapes alone were $9.70 with no tax. Mm. The cherries were $11 or something with no tax, and the Oreos were like $3. So, my first trip back home, I came back with the Oreos. But I was telling my dad about how the checkout guy was kind of weird acting towards me. Like, he didn't treat me like an adult. So first I thought maybe he thought I was young, but then I corrected him on that and was like, cause he was like, hey, what's going on? Or something he said to me that was kind of sideways. And I was like, hi, how are you? Like to, you know, use proper English, let him know I'm not a kid, I am an adult. So he proceeds to kind of like, fresh with me so I don't know oh it's your mom it's mom hello 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 okay 
Bye bye. She wants some watermelon. Okay. Okay, so he proceeds to get like fresh with me. And he's asking me about my hair and he kind of snatched the money from me. He's just not rubbing me up. My throat's itching. Up, my ears are itching. I just tested these fruits to see if I would be able to eat them. And I'm having the reaction already. Are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which one was it? The grapes? I just tasted a cherry. The cherry? Mm -hmm. cherry won't do it? I taste the, the grapes tomorrow. Yeah. So. I understand that. Ugh. Ugh. I understand. I don't need it. Ugh. Did you wash it off? I did. I just rinsed it. Okay. Okay. So I come home, I bring the Oreos back, I take some upstairs to dad. He's like, these are great. And I proceed to tell them about the guy at the checkout. Well, this is a local neighborhood grocery store. So they go there all the time. When I say these people live in a grocery store, they are at the grocery store like three times a day for something. So he was like, oh, really? Well, let's go back over there and get your fruit. <laughs> so he gets dressed and he walks back to the store with me and He's like, yep, I know him. He introduces me as his daughter, and then this guy is like looking so dumbfounded. He's like, yeah, this is my son's wife. We have to bring my grandson over here. He's like, did you read my book? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I never seen somebody look so stupid and dumbfounded before in my life. Just like literally 10 minutes ago, he was trying to get fresh with me, and now all of a sudden he's getting his face cracked. Like, uh, just because you never seen me around here before doesn't mean you can talk to me sideways and definitely don't get fresh with me. So honey, your daddy he stepped in and he handled all of that, okay? So when you watch this, you just know your dad, he put he put his foot down, okay? In a very polite, pastoral type way. But he let it be known. She not just some run of the mill young lady, don't talk to her any kind of way. So that was my run in for the evening. I'm about to go ahead and edit my vlog. I mean, my um, my post, my tutorial. Oh, no, it's a review. I did another product review. It's a good one for my beauty channel. And then um, try to get some vlogs up for you guys. But I had to share that story. It was just too funny. And yes, I got my steps in and it's only 1030 here. So I'm gonna get some work done. And then I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow I'm going to the water park. Yay! Out for a lovely walk, and I have my co-pilot with me today. Say hi, Garrison. He's got the easy part of the job. All right, we got Miss Jackie here, and she is looking fab, honey. I just finished this beautiful install. Yes, honey, she's installed to the Lord, to the gods. <laughs> All in a day's work.